This is our last video for Chapter 10. We're going to talk about ordered pairs, Lesson 10.15. We can use numbers to find a place on a grid. A grid is a chart that has lines going across horizontally and lines going up vertically. So here's a grid paper, and it looks like it has lots of squares on it, lots of cubes, right? But what's important is it has lines going across and lines going up. See that? An ordered pair is a pair, that's two. It's a pair of numbers that mark a point on the grid. And the first number tells us how far to go across. The second number tells us how far to go up. So if this was numbered and we had one, two, three, four, five going across this way and numbers going up, one, two, three, four, five, six, we would be able to see where this number meets a number on this side and find the exact point where they meet, where they crisscross, see? And take a look at this. We have a treasure map. We have numbers in circles along the bottom going across. And we have numbers in squares going up, see? And Bob found a treasure map. And he can find the point where the treasure is buried at this red dot where the two in the circle and the three in the square meet each other. We find the two in the circle, it's right here, and we follow its line up to the three in the square. See? That's where they two, the two meet. That's where the two in the circle meets the three in the square at that point. See? And that's where the treasure is buried. All we have to do is find the two in the circle and follow its line up to where it meets the three in the square. See? You can find the buried treasure. And take a look at this grid. We have lots of shapes on this grid. We need to circle the shape we find at each point. So here we have our numbers going across in green and our numbers going up in orange. We need to find where the green one meets the orange five, and we have to figure out which one of these shapes is at that point. So let's locate the green one. It's right here. And where does it meet the orange five? So let's follow the green one up. There, it meets the five at a yellow hexagon. See? We follow the green one up to where it meets the orange five, and it has a yellow hexagon there. So which shape is at the green one and orange five point? It's the yellow hexagon, isn't it? Isn't that easy? Let's try another one. Where does the green two and the orange three meet? Which shape is there? So green two, orange three. So let's find the green two. It's right here and we'll follow it up to the orange three. So it's not this one, because that's at a one, isn't it? Well, look, look what's there. It's a trapezoid, a red trapezoid is at the green two and the orange three. Red trapezoid. So which one is at the green two and the orange three? It's this red trapezoid, isn't it? Let's try another one. The green four and the orange four, where do they meet? Which shape is at that point? At the green four and the orange four. So the first thing we do is we find the green one because that's the one going across. That's the one we locate first. So here's the green four and what shape is at the orange four where the lines crisscross, where they meet? We go up to where the four is. Look, it's a blue rhombus. See that? So what is at the point of the green four and the orange four? It's a blue rhombus. Let's try one last one. We have a green five and an orange two. Which one of these shapes is at the green five and orange two intersection where they crisscross? So let's find the green five. Here it is. And where is the orange two? We go up to the line where the two is. And we see that it's a green triangle. So which shape 
is at that point, it's the green triangle. See? Now take a look at this nice drawing I did here. It took me a while. So this is a city. And you can see we've got a school and some houses, a grocery store, a post office and a bakery and lots of grass. We can also see the streets. Down here we have Pine Street, we have Oak Street, and we have Elm Street. And right here we have Main Street and Second Street. See our map of the city? Well, many city streets and blocks are on a grid. And the streets crisscross. And we can find where something is if we have two cross streets. So if you told a friend that you were going to meet them on Main Street, and that's all you said, I'm just going to meet you on Main Street, you could be anywhere. You could be at the school, you could be at the grocery store, you could be at the bakery, and they wouldn't know because all you said was Main Street. You could even be at the post office or in one of these houses. But if you told your friend you were going to be at the corner of Main Street and Pine Street, they would know, here's Pine Street, here's Main Street, that you're here. See? If you just said Main Street, they wouldn't know where on Main Street. And if Main Street's really long, they'd never find you. They'd have to keep driving or walking back and forth looking for you. So by having a second cross, you know where they are. This one crosses this one, so it would be right here. And if someone said they were going to meet you on 2nd Street, well, we have no idea where on 2nd Street you are. But if you said, I'll meet you at the corner of 2nd Street and Oak Street, well... We have Oak Street here, and here's 2nd Street, so that means you're going to be over here. See? Maybe there's a playground there or a park. So it's really important to have two pieces of information. If you have information of where it is going across and information of where it is going up or down, then you know where they intersect and where they meet, and you can find the location. See? So an ordered pair is just two numbers that mark a point on a grid. See? So you know where something is at. Okay? So we're going to move on, and we're going to talk about adding and subtracting three-digit numbers in Chapter 11. So now we're going to be adding in subtra and subtracting in the hundreds. We're probably going to be regrouping, too, right? All right. I hope you're having a great day, and keep trying, and I'll see you in the next chapter. Bye.